For more stock news updates, remember to press the like button and subscribe. With that being said, let's get straight into the video. Recently, Palantir disclosed through a filing with the US Securities and Exchange Commission that it now holds an 8.7% stake in the electric vehicle startup named Faraday Future. This development may seem surprising at first glance, given Faraday Future's well-publicized struggles in the electric vehicle market. However, this stake was not acquired through a traditional investment, but rather as part of a settlement agreement between the two companies. The backstory behind Palantir's new position in Faraday Future dates back to a 2021 commercial agreement between the two companies. At the time, Faraday Future was riding high on the electric vehicle wave, as were many other startups in the sector. The electric vehicle market, fueled by a surge in demand for eco-friendly vehicles and the rise of Tesla, saw an influx of new players attempting to capitalize on the booming industry. Many of these companies, including Faraday Future, turned to special purpose acquisition companies, which offered a fast track to going public public and accessing much-needed capital. Faraday Future's journey into the public markets began when it merged with a special purpose acquisition company, raising an impressive $1 billion in the process. This process bypasses the traditional initial public offering route and often speeds up the timeline for startups looking to raise large amounts of capital. In the case of Faraday Future, the electric vehicle company was able to quickly secure the funding it needed to bring its ambitious plans to life. Palantir, which has become well known for its data mining and software services, was also keen to get involved in this burgeoning industry. The company participated in the private investment in public equity phase of Faraday Futures' special purpose acquisition company merger, investing $25 million. In exchange for this investment, Faraday Future agreed to a commercial contract with Palantir, allowing the electric vehicle startup to leverage Palantir's advanced data services to support its business operations. This was not an isolated deal for Palantir. The company made several similar agreements with other special purpose acquisition company backed firms during the same period blending investments with commercial contracts. The idea was to help these emerging companies harness the power of data analytics to improve efficiency, streamline operations, and develop innovative products. At the time, Faraday Future was optimistic about the partnership, announcing that Palantir Services would be integral in helping it develop disruptive products and services in the electric vehicle market. However, like many electric vehicle startups that went public through the special purpose acquisition company process, Faraday Future soon encountered significant challenges. Despite its ambitious goals to take on established electric vehicle manufacturers like Tesla, the company struggled to produce and deliver its vehicles at scale. To date, Faraday Future has only delivered around a dozen cars, and it has repeatedly delayed the production of its flagship model. As Faraday Future's financial difficulties mounted, its relationship with Palantir began to unravel. By April 2023, Palantir sent a formal letter to Faraday Future accusing the company of breaching their commercial agreement. According to filings with the US Securities and Exchange Commission, Palantir claimed that Faraday Future owed it $12.3 million for services that had been rendered but not paid for. The relationship between the two companies soured further, and by July 2023, Palantir escalated the dispute by filing for our arbitration. At this point, Palantir claimed that the total amount owed was significantly higher than initially stated, placing the amount in dispute at $41.5 million. Rather than drag the issue through a lengthy legal battle, the two companies reached a settlement agreement in March 2024. Under the terms of the settlement, Faraday Future agreed to pay Palantir $5 million. However, by August 2024, only $200,000 of this payment had been made, leaving $4.8 million still outstanding. In light of this, the settlement agreement was amended, and Faraday Future pledged to pay the remaining amount through stock rather than cash. The stock payments were made in two installments. The first payment occurred before Faraday Future executed a 1 for 40 reverse stock split on August 16th. This reverse stock split significantly reduced the number of shares available on the market, but did not dramatically impact Palantir's initial stake in the company. The second stock payment, made in October 2024, took place after the reverse stock split split, resulting in Palantir acquiring a far larger stake in Faraday Future. As a result, Palantir's ownership in the electric vehicle startup ballooned to nearly 9%. Despite this sizable stake, Palantir disclosed in a 13G filing that it intends to remain a passive investor. A 13G filing is required when a company or individual acquires more than 5% of another company's stock but does not plan to exert control over its operations. In other words, Palantir is not looking to steer the direction of Faraday Future's business, which which is still facing an uphill battle for survival. The electric vehicle startup has been plagued by production delays and continues to struggle with funding shortages. 
While Palantir's 8.7% ownership may seem significant, it is clear that this stake is more a result of settling a debt than a strategic decision to invest in Faraday Future's future growth. Interestingly, Palantir's involvement in Faraday Future is part of a broader trend in which the company has invested in firms going public through special purpose acquisition company mergers while it's simultaneously securing commercial contracts. This strategy allowed Palantir to gain both financial returns and new customers for its data services. However, many of the electric vehicle startups that emerged during the special purpose acquisition company boom have struggled to live up to their early promises, and Faraday Future is no exception. Faraday Future's story is emblematic of the challenges facing the electric vehicle industry as a whole. While the initial excitement surrounding electric vehicles and the push for cleaner transportation options led to a surge in investment and interest, many startups have found it difficult to deliver on the lofty expectations they set for themselves. The costs of developing, manufacturing, and scaling electric vehicles are substantial, and without steady funding, many of these companies have faced setbacks. Faraday Future, in particular, has been plagued by delays and financial troubles, making it unclear whether the company can successfully navigate these challenges moving forward. Palantir's new stake in Faraday Future may seem like a strategic investment at first glance, but the reality is more nuanced. This stake is a byproduct of a commercial dispute and settlement rather than an endorsement of Faraday Future's business prospects. Palantir, which has traditionally focused on data and analytics, is unlikely to take an active role in shaping Faraday Future's future, especially given the company's ongoing struggles. Despite its nearly 9% ownership, Palantir appears content to remain on the sidelines as Faraday Future continues to search for ways to stay afloat. The electric vehicle startup still has a long road ahead, with significant financial hurdles to overcome if it wants to compete with established players like Tesla. In the end, Palantir Technologies now holds an 8.7% percent stake in Faraday Future, an electric vehicle startup that has struggled to deliver on its ambitious goals. This stake, however, was not acquired through a direct investment, but rather as part of a settlement for unpaid debts. The relationship between Palantir and Faraday Future began in 2021 when the two companies entered into a commercial agreement. As Faraday Future's financial troubles mounted, the partnership fell apart, resulting in Palantir pursuing arbitration to settle outstanding payments. In the end, Palantir accepted company stock as compensation, leading to its nearly 9% ownership stake. This stake represents a settlement outcome rather than a new strategic direction for Palantir. Meanwhile, Faraday Future continues to face significant challenges in the electric vehicle market with ongoing production delays and a need for new funding to keep its operations going. For more stock news updates, remember to press the like button and subscribe. With that being said, I will see you in the next video.